Fisetin is a class of anti-aging supplement that really excites me. On paper, as well as in several studies, the senolytic compound has been shown to possess some quite remarkable life extension properties. So let's begin by first looking at what fisetin actually is, and then we'll delve into how it works and what the potential benefits are. Then we'll wrap things up by discussing dosages, the best way to take it, any possible side effects, and my recommended fisetin products. Fisetin is actually a plant polyphenol and part of the flavonoid family found in many fruits and vegetables. Scientists have known about its existence for almost 200 years, with it first being isolated from the sumac plant way back in 1833. Although by far the highest levels are actually found in strawberries. But fisetin only became available as an anti-aging supplement very recently undoubtedly instigated by the results of a landmark 2018 study that first recognised Fisetin's powerful senolytic properties, which basically means that it destroys senescent cells. Cellular senescence is essentially a state where cells have stopped dividing in order to replicate themselves, thereby losing their designated function. Unfortunately though, they don't completely die and leave the body. Instead, they enter a zombie-like state that can damage neighbouring cells and tissues, with the resulting inflammatory damage known to accelerate ageing and contribute to various age-related diseases. In short, the function and purpose of senolytic compounds such as fisetin is to destroy and remove those problematic senescent cells from the body, thereby potentially extending both lifespan and health span. However, fisetin doesn't just provide senolytic benefits. It also possesses powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. It inhibits mTOR, possesses anti-cancer properties, improves brain function, can help treat diabetes, and can even help to prevent skin aging. But first, let's take a closer look at Feistin's senolytic properties. The result of clearing senescent cells from the body can result in significant health benefits. In the previously mentioned 2018 landmark study, researchers tested a panel of 10 potential senolytics, including fisetin, resveratrol, quercetin, and curcumin. Fisetin was the clear winner, extending the life of aged mice by over 10%. Now, although most studies on fisetin have been done using animals or lab-cultured cells, several clinical trials with older adults have been completed, and more are underway to determine how fisetin can best support healthy aging in humans. Now, we know that collagen provides structure and elasticity to the skin. However, excessive sun exposure causes a breakdown of collagen, and this is a key factor in skin aging. Fisetin helps prevent this collagen breakdown and also reduces the inflammation and oxidative stress caused by UV rays. It also reduces the formation of wrinkles by boosting skin collagen production, and even has the potential to improve eczema symptoms by reducing skin inflammation, swelling, and redness. Inflammaging is a term that refers to the chronic age-related low-grade inflammation caused by cellular damage, oxidative stress, and mitochondrial dysfunction. In animal studies, fisetin has been shown to reduce the cellular damage by shutting off various pathways that promote it, and by reducing the production of pro-inflammatory enzymes and substances. Heart disease remains the number one cause of death in the US, and it's most commonly a result of insufficient flow of blood oxygen and nutrients to the heart, and this scenario can often lead to a heart attack. Recent studies indicate that fisetin can protect the heart from injury following heart attacks, with heart cells faring far better when fisetin is present. In animal studies, fisetin supplementation following a heart attack significantly reduced the risk of atrial fibrillation, which is a common arrhythmia that increases the probability of stroke or heart failure. Fisetin also improves general heart health by reducing high cholesterol levels, improving circulation, and protecting the heart from oxidative stress. After menopause, low estrogen levels can put women at risk of osteoporosis, and this is compounded by the increased inflammation due to aging, which also weakens the bones. Fisetin improves bone density and helps prevent bone loss in those with low estrogen by reducing the activity of bone-degrading cells known as osteoclasts. In animal studies, fisetin protected the liver from alcohol by helping to process it faster. Now, this doesn't mean you can simply take fisetin and consume excessive alcohol without consequences. However, it does mean that those who regularly consume alcoholic drinks can minimize any potential negative effects. 
In neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's, immune cells in the brain called microglia are overactivated, and this causes inflammation and damage to healthy brain cells. Fisetin helps prevent this scenario by boosting brain antioxidant levels and by preventing the microglia from releasing inflammatory compounds. Additionally, Alzheimer's disease involves an excess of beta amyloid plaques and tau proteins in the brain. Fisetin reduces both the levels of tau proteins and the buildup of those harmful amyloid plaques. Although not approved for cancer prevention or treatment, both cell-based and animal studies have shown fisetin's potential in slowing the progression of various cancer types, including liver, prostate, lung, and laryngeal cancers. In one notable study with lab mice, supplemental fisetin suppressed lung tumor growth by a remarkable 67%, which was further increased to 92% when combined with a chemotherapy drug. Another animal study using mice with melanoma found that fisetin suppressed tumor growth by 66%. These results are likely due in part to fisetin's ability to reduce the activity of a group of enzymes that cancers require to spread and invade other tissues. Fisetin's senolytic properties are also undoubtedly of great benefit here, since senescent cells can often contain cancer-promoting mutations. In animal studies, reducing food intake through calorie restriction has been shown to slow aging, extend lifespan, and increase disease resistance. Restricting calories reduces the activity of mTOR, which is a protein linked to weight gain, chronic disease, and aging. Calorie restriction also boosts the function of sirtuins, which are proteins that regulate cellular health, and it also increases the activity of AMPK, an enzyme that promotes autophagy and regulates metabolism. Now, unfortunately, calorie-restricted diets do have a negative impact on maintaining muscle mass, which can potentially contribute to frailty in later life. However, researchers have found that fisetin can mimic every one of the benefits of calorie restriction without the need to cut calories, thereby avoiding the loss of lean muscle mass. Strokes generally occur without warning and can cause permanent loss of brain function. Effective treatment involves removing or dissolving the offending blood clot blocking blood flow to the brain, with the best chance of success when treatment is given within three hours of the first symptoms appearing. Amazingly, fisetin can extend this effective treatment window by a further two hours, thereby increasing the number of patients benefiting from brain-saving therapy. So that's a brief description of the main benefits that fisetin supplementation can potentially provide. Unlike the animal study data available, human trial data is still limited at this point. However, the data we do have is extremely encouraging. So would I recommend taking this supplement? My answer to that question is a resounding yes. Fisetin is without doubt the best senolytic health supplement that we currently have access to, and it's an important part of my own life extension stack. And let me assure you that nothing becomes part of my supplement stack unless it satisfies a pretty comprehensive list of requirements. Fisetin can be taken using one of two protocols. The first involves a low dosage taken every day, with the effective daily dosage starting as low as 100 mg, but not exceeding 500 mg. I personally take 400 mg capsule each day, which I've determined to be the optimal dosage based on current data. This is likely to be suitable for most people. Now, the other way fisetin can be used is at a high dosage of around 20 mg per kilo of body weight taken for two consecutive days, once every month. So for example, an 80 kilogram person would take 1600 milligrams both days for a total of 3200 milligrams. Unfortunately, fisetin is poorly absorbed by the body. However, we can easily increase its bioavailability by simply consuming it with some healthy fats. I usually take mine with a few walnuts, which just happens to be the healthiest nut on the planet with proven anti-cancer properties. If you'd like to learn more about the top anti-cancer nuts and the top antioxidant nuts, then simply check the videos currently on screen, which are also available on this channel. Lastly, to put these dosages into perspective, a large strawberry on average contains around 2 milligrams of fisetin. So you need to eat around 200 strawberries each day in order to get the optimal daily dose. And that's quite obviously not a viable alternative to taking a fisetin supplement. Even at extremely high dosages, scientists have so far found no evidence of negative side effects or toxicity resulting from fisetin supplementation. 
However, due to the lack of long-term safety data available, as a precaution, pregnant women and children should avoid fistulin supplements until more human study data becomes available. The one thing I should mention before moving on are potential drug interactions. The liver utilizes the same processing pathway for fisetin as it does for the blood thinning medication warfarin, and in theory at least, this can increase warfarin's effects. Additionally, fisetin has been shown to substantially reduce blood sugar levels in diabetic animals, therefore in combination with blood sugar lowering drugs, levels may be further reduced. As always, if in doubt, consult your doctor before supplementing, letting him know about the medications you're currently using and any supplements that you're considering taking. There are several brands out there offering Fistin products, and as with all supplements, price, quality and dosage per capsule can vary considerably. Currently, there are two Fistin supplements that I consider to be the best available. For those wishing to use a low dose, the 100mg capsules from Doctor's Best brand are a great option. And for those like myself who require a higher dosage, then the filler-free Fistin capsules from Do Not Age are unmatched for quality. In the video description below, you'll find a 10% discount code which the company has very kindly provided. Many thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this presentation, then perhaps you'd like to subscribe to the channel. You'll have my instant love and gratitude, plus you'll be notified of all future uploads. And as always, take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.